Well, on to decision 2022. Governor Brad Little has officially filed for a re-election today. Governor Little's campaign manager said he's had a record of support from any gubernatorial candidate at this point in a campaign in the history of the state with almost $1.6 million contributed to his campaign from nearly 2,700 contributors. Little said in a statement, quote, I am committed to continue working on behalf of all Idahoans to strengthen our economy, invest in education, and protect our values so everyone will have the ability to build careers and raise their families here in Idaho. Earlier today also, Idaho Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan filed her paperwork to run for governor. McGeehan has been campaigning for governor for several months. She announced that she has filed for candidacy in a Facebook video. That's a clip of it right there. In the video, she said, quote, I can't wait for this opportunity for the people of Idaho and our great state and the opportunities that exist. So they stay tuned for more next week, she says. According to the Idaho Secretary of State's website, Dr. Ryan Cole has also filed a treasurer appointment report for governor. That happened today. Now, this is the first step in running for office. It's important to note that today is the last day for candidates to file to run for office. They have until 5 p.m. No word on if Dr. Cole is officially filed to run for governor. We'll have an update for you at 5 o'clock, though. And attention voters, this is some big news for you. Today is the last day to change your party affiliation if you are already registered with the party. Here's what you need to know. You have until 5 p.m. today to either visit your county clerk's office or go online to voteidaho.org to change your affiliation. You cannot change your affiliation at the polls. If you're not registered to vote, you can do so right now or you can do it on election day at the polls. The primary election, circle it on your calendar. It is set for May 17th, a huge primary election. The general election is coming up in the fall on November 8th.